And if somebody say the truth, he is a politician, they say he is far right. Like this guy in the, in the Netherlands, what his name? I forgot his name. The one who won the election. What they say? They say he is a hate, he's a person full of hatred. Uh, he is racist. Uh, he is uh, far right wing. The right away they give you a label, you know. So you say the truth. You are far right wing. What is missing to say you are fascist, you are from Hitler. But the fact is Muslim, they fought with in the side of Hitler. They were celebrating killing the Jews. So the second, you yeah, agree to Hitler. The second you say, the second you find one, well, just one person, saying something truthful, even though like he is still, he have lack of uh, knowledge, I can't tell. They start labeling the guy to make him the devil. And this is a, a strategy the liberals always they used. Like as an example, Trump, <coughs> Trump is racist. Why? Because he banned Muslims from entering the USA. That's false. Trump, he signed a law which was signed by Obama. Six countries cannot enter into the state. Obama signed it. So they want to demonize the man. They make him racist. Those countries, they have war. There's terrorism. It's Obama who made it. They put a picture. They say to you, Trump, he is putting Mexican kids in cages. Now, Trump is an evil. Look what he is doing. They went and they took pictures of those cages. But the one who made the cages is Obama. You understand? The one who made those cages is Obama. So Obama is in the, as a president for eight years. The left wings they did not see the cages. So they smear you. You know, I'm not. I'm not defending Trump, by the way. I'm just giving you facts about how dirty they they are. Uh, like this guy Sam Harris, he said that he demonized uh, Trump because this is the only way to win. You know, we don't want him to win, so we lie. But people listen to those people. They take what they say for, for granted. And he say, we have to lie. You know, we have to make him look ugly. So otherwise, if he won, that will be a disaster. This is not dirty politician. No, this is dirty nation. This is dirty population. This is dirty and educated nation. We are talking about tens of millions of people who believe that they should lie about someone to smear him, to frame him, because they don't like him. Which means the ethic in the nation is going down very bad. And look now, uh, anyone he is a friend to Trump, they are going after him. They are the same as the Middle East. This government in USA now is a, is a government of terrorism. You speak against Biden, we go after you. Giuliani, you know, he's a friend. You, every single one of the friends of Trump, they are going to end in jail. Never happened before. Cases after cases. This guy Trump, he keep going to court, from court to court, from court to court, from court. And all of us, we knew, they don't want him to be in the coming election. That's all. But this is telling you how filthy the liberals, or let us say the one in control of liberalism, how, how, how low they, they, they go. They claim that this is a country where uh, freedom and, uh, you know, uh, no, there is no freedom. They will weaponize the FBI against you. You know, the FBI, they don't have a problem with somebody saying we will behead you, but they have a problem with Christian parents. They say we don't accept you to teach our children to be homosexual. So now they make they, they put them in the list of terrorism. Can you believe it? Churches who speak against homosexuality, they put them in the list of terrorism. So the FBI... It's not the FBI no more. It's, it's, just a, it's, it's just an agency who go after people who you speak, you know, uh, you, don't, you don't support their boss. They will be all over you. They will bite you. How that can change? I don't think so. I don't think that will change. 
I notice that Democrats are way smarter as evil. And Republicans are way dummy and stupid. Trump was in the office for four years. He did not even kick one general from the army. The first thing Obama did when he became president, he took all the Christian generals, he replaced them with atheists. He took over the army. He replaced all the FBI, who they are not from his kind, and he kicked out the Christians. They filter the, the government. All the employees of uh, uh, the, the, the American government TV stations, they are liberals. There's no, there's no uh, conservative. Why? Aren't we citizens? We, we have the right to be in that job? So they control the TV. They control the White House. They control the intelligence. They control the FBI. They control education. They control the schools. They control everything. And then a stupid Republican, he make a speech, but the speech is useless. And people, they cheer. Yeah, thank you for saying the truth. But they are still there. The FBI leader is still there. Trump was a big failure. He is the biggest stupid ever. He could not even hire one person. He is the right person for a job. He kicked out at least five foreign ministers. I mean, the guy he keeps changing foreign ministers is changing shoes. Even when he hired, I, I think he changed twice the Department of Justice Minister, even those they, they went against him. When he chose a vice president, even that one, he betrayed him. This guy, he is the most stupid, ignorant. He do not know what he is doing, and he hired wrong people in the wrong location. The second Trump, he hired his daughter and his son-in-law to be his private consultant. That second, I know this guy is doomed. Very stupid. The woman she do she's a Barbie. What does woman have to do with the president consultant? Is he is she the one he will consult with her about war with Iran? Or maybe she will throw shoes at Iran. I mean, how in the world such a Barbie became a president consultant? You tell me. His son-in-law, he don't even talk. Did you hear him once? The guy is mute. He have a face of made of wax. He's like dead. How those people they became the consultant of the president? This is why I hope that Trump will not be the president. Unless he learn his lesson and now when he take the office he will change upside down. But I don't trust him. I believe he will do the same thing. This guy is just a talker. Lock her up, lock her up. A week after, he go play golf with Billy Clinton and uh, Hillary. In the front of us, they shout at uh, Hillary Clinton. Behind the scene, they drink coffee with them. You send your kids to prostrate in June, uh, June 6th. And Trump, he was playing golf. It's just truth, by the way. I'm not making things up. When your kids were arrested... And they are going to stay. There is one of them. He is going to stay for 20 years in jail. Imagine. Trump, he did not move his finger. He did not even mention his name. In fact, he washed his hand from him. Well, I don't think people, they can take your right unless you allow them. They can take your right only if you allow them to do it. You have rights when you defend your right. You don't defend your right, you have no rights. This is the, the basic knowledge of rights if somebody come let's say you are sitting in your table you are eating your food in a restaurant somebody come and took your dish you said nothing he took the second dish you did nothing the third dish you did nothing you have no right to you have no right that city ate the food they cannot take your rights unless you became submissive 